Anurahim. In this lecture, we are going to do an example, and this is example 5.1 in the book. So we are asked to sketch the frequency modulated wave and the phase modulated wave for the modulating signal which is given here. So this is my message signal. I have the KF is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 10 raised to power 5. KF is equal to 10 pi and the carrier frequency is 100 megahertz. So I need to plot the frequency modulated wave and the phase modulated wave. Now we know the formula for the for finding the instantaneous angular frequency. And that is omega i is equal to omega c plus kf mt. Here kf is a constant and this is given as 2 pi multiplied by 10 raised to power 5. Now this is my instantaneous angular frequency. If I want to find the uh, instantaneous frequency, I need to divide this kf by 2 pi. So this will be kf divided by 2 pi into mt. Let me put the values of the kf. So we are going to have fi is equal to fc and this will be equal to because kf is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 so this will be equal to 10 raised to power 5 mt now fc is equal to fc is given as 100 megahertz which is equal to 10 raised to power 8 so this will be 10 raised to power 8 plus 10 raised to power 5 m of t now if we can see here this message signal the maximum amplitude is 1 and the minimum amplitude is minus 1. So when the amplitude is maximum that is 1 we are going to have the maximum instantaneous frequency. So the maximum instantaneous frequency will be equal to 10 raised to power 8 plus 10 raised to power 5 into 1 which comes out to be 100.1 megahertz. Similarly the minimum instantaneous frequency will be when when the message signal is at minimum amplitude which is minus 1. So this here I am going to have minus 1 this is 10 raised to power 8 and this is 10 raised to power 5 into minus 1 so this comes out to be 99.9 .9 megahertz. So the minimum instantaneous frequency is 99.9 .9 megahertz and maximum instantaneous frequency is 100.1 megahertz. So now we are going to sketch this and because the message signal, the amplitude of the message signal m of t increases and decreases linearly with time. The instantaneous frequency is also going to increase linearly from 99.1 megahertz to 100.1 megahertz uh, over a half cycle over this positive half cycle and then decreases linearly from 100.1 megahertz to 99.9 .9 megahertz over remaining the half cycle of the modulating signal. So now we are going to plot this and when I plot this. So when I plot this, I am going to have a half, uh, have a graph like this. Now this is for the positive cycle. So for the positive cycle, the frequency is going to start at 99.9 .9 megahertz and continue on increasing li linearly until it reaches to the 100.1 megahertz. So in this point, it reaches to the 100.1 megahertz, and this is the end of my positive cycle. And then for the negative cycle, the frequency, the instantaneous frequency is going to decrease linearly from 100.1 megahertz to 99.9 megahertz. And this process is going to be continued. So this is how uh, this uh, sketch is plotted for the, for the FM wave. Next is to sketch the phase modulated wave. Now again we know the formula for the phase modulated wave, we also know that phase modulated wave for m of t is actually fm actually fm for derivative of m of t now we need to take derivative of m of t so we need to take the derivative of this thing now the time period is 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 4 so for example if i want to uh, write equation for this line what i am going to do is that i am going to first find the slope and for slope is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so now this point on the x-axis let's suppose i have 0 over here for the x-axis and the amplitude is 1 so i have 0 1 over here because the y-axis is 1 here because this is half of the time period so on the x-axis I am going to have for example 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 4 and on the y axis I am going to have minus 1. So we are going to put values in this m and this uh, slope is going to be found out that m is equal to minus 1 into minus 1 this will be minus 2 
and this will be 1 minus 0 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 4 minus 0 so this will be 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 4 so the slope is going to come out to be m is equal to minus 20,000 so the slope of this line is minus 20,000 now if the slope of this line is minus 20,000 the slope of this line is going to be plus 20,000 so the equation for this line is going to be equal to y is equal to mx plus c so this will be y is equal to minus 20,000 because the slope is 20,000 t plus c and c comes out to be 1 hour here okay if you find the value of c by putting the value of t and y x is my t you are going to get 1 so this will be y is equal to minus 20 t plus c this message signal this y is now my message signal now i need to take the derivative so if i take the derivative i'm going to get minus 2000 so as a result this graph is going to vary between minus 2000 and 2000 so if i take the derivative of this m of t this m prime of t is going to be equal to so m prime of t will be like this we are going to have the positive which is 20,000 and then we are going to have negative which is minus 20,000 then again positive which is 20,000 then again negative which is minus 20,000 so let me draw a line over here and this is my for example the zero this is my zero this is my 20,000 and this is my minus 20,000 and this is now my m derivative of the message signal so now I am going to use the formula again. The formula in this case will be Fi is equal to Fc plus Kp divided by 2 into the derivative of the m of t. Now we know the value of the Kp which is given as 10 pi. So I am going to put 10 pi over here and we are going to get Fi is equal to 10 raised to power 8 plus 5 into m prime of t. Sorry, one kp is equal to yes kp is equal to 10 pi so this will be 5 into m prime of t now the maximum value of m pa, m uh, dot of t is equal to 20,000 maximum is plus 20,000 minimum is minus 20,000 so I'm going to put over here and as a result we are going to have the maximum instantaneous frequency and minimum instantaneous frequency so for maximum instantaneous frequency I'm going to pl put plus 20,000 so this will be equal to 10 raised to power 8 plus 10 raised to power 5 which again will be 100.1 megahertz and again the minimum is going to be equal to 10 raised to power 8 and i'm going to put minus 20,000 here so i'm going to get 10 raised to power 5 minus 10 raised to power 5 which again will be 99.9 megahertz so same values same for fm and same for mm now we are going to sketch it so this is my sketch for the phase modulated wave now because the derivative of the message signal switches back and forth from a value of minus 20,000 to 20,000 the carrier frequency is going to switch back and forth from 99 megahertz to 100.1 megahertz every half cycle of the message signal. So for example this is my 100.1 megahertz this is for the positive half cycle then I, I have 99.9 megahertz for negative half cycle and then again I am going to have 100.1 megahertz for positive half cycle and so on so as soon as the derivative of the message signal switches back and forth from a value of minus 20,000 to 20,000 the carrier frequency is going to switch back and forth from 99 megahertz to 100.1 megahertz for example 5.1 thank you